Hey there, Clashers, and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Town Hall 13 three-star attacks that don't use the new Blizzard strategy. So in case you don't know what I'm talking about when I mentioned the Blizzard, that's the uh, new strategy people are using with Super Wizards in the Blimp and then use the invisibility spells on the Blizzard when the Blimp drops. So that's kind of been taking over the meta here lately. So today what we're doing is taking a look at attacks that are not using that. Kind of going back to what was working before and what is still working now. And uh, if you want to see attacks that are using the new Blizzard strategy, just be uh, on the lookout for tomorrow's video. But for now, let's jump into some of these replays. All right, so we're going to kick things off with a hit from Zeus here. He is coming in with the drag bet. Got a couple of lightning spells there to take out the sweepers down there by the town hall at 6 o'clock. So he can fly his dragon straight into the town hall and those double scatter shots. He'll get those down nice and early. But before that, he does have the RC coming in. He sends in an ice golem with the RC to do some tanking here. So the RC is uh, working through. She is taking damage from that expo, unfortunately. And she's going to use her ability here, but the ability actually skips around this air defense down here at the bottom. So she's going to move up, take down that expo that's targeting her, and then get a couple of shots on that other air defense. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get that one down either, so not quite as much value as he wanted from the RC. But she still gets some nice pathing uh, kind of carved out of the left side of the base here. Now he's got the queen coming in from 6 o'clock. He's going to stick the king in here shortly as well. There's an ice golem to help out. And the king is going to aggro to that RC there. Now here come the balloons and the dragon straight into the town hall and the double scatter shots here. And the king is in. He's going to go to that RC and then he's going to head up to the right and the queen's going to follow behind. King's going to tank for her. They can get some of that stuff cleared out and make this pathing a bit skinnier for the dragons. So a rage spell there with the uh, warden ability gets through that town hall and the scatter shots very nicely. Dragons are going to push their way up into the base. Once this last wizard tower at the top is tanked, he'll be able to send in the bats and he doesn't have any splash damage on the top side of the base. So the dragons are still working their way up, the eagle's firing at them. He's got one dragon that's going to go onto the eagle here shortly. The wizard tower of course is tanked now, so the bats come in from the left side of the base. They can go up around, take down the single inferno, take down that other air defense and then some archer towers as well. So there they go, moving through that single very quickly. Wizard tower goes down. They get through the Warden statue as well. Uh, they're hanging out a little dangerously close to that dragon there. He could pull a red air bomb at any time, but luckily he doesn't. Gets that expo taken down. They'll be able to work through that archer tower. He's going to freeze up the air defense down here at the bottom side. They do help take that out as well, but the bats are thinning out. But of course, at this point, there are no defenses for the dragons to worry about, except for that one last archer tower. But he's got his queen here. She's at half health, and she has her ability, so... Uh, that's really all he needs at this point to finish off the base, but of course he's got the warden there as well and a dragon, which did find a seeking air mine, but there's a triple for Zeus. This time we've got Brad coming in, this time with a Yeti smash. He's going to start that warden over here at the 9 o'clock corner. He's going to work on getting that entire corner cleared out, and then that's going to allow him to put the king and siege barracks down at the bottom. And he will have very nice pathing here to send the Yeti smash straight in to the core of the base. He can jump right behind that scatter shot and that'll open up the middle of the base for the Yeti. So we are going to speed things up a little bit here. As the warden works here with the baby dragon, gets those healers down. So he's got quite a bit taken out already. The warden will work through the wizard tower, get through the air defense. Now you see that siege barracks coming in down at 6 o'clock. Going to get through those camps that already sets up a very nice funnel. And then the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizards are going to continue to get some of these buildings taken out of the way. King's going to do the same over there on the right. And then, of course, he's going to go in and fight the enemy king. That also helps to make sure the troops in the core don't get aggroed later on. We're going to slow things back down to 1x. He's got a whole bunch of things in the core right now. Everything went straight in. So he's got all those uh, Yetis, the Bowlers. Warden ability there keeps them all alive. Rage spell. The uh, Bowlers do a lot of damage under that. So he's going to get a lot of skip value here. And then you see that last jump spell coming in. He did have hogs come out of the siege barracks as well. The RC's working around with the hogs, getting those defenses around the outside taken care of. The Yetis and the Bowl are still working through getting these defenses taken down. The scatter shot's going to go down. The only big defense left now is that single target Inferno. And it's going to stay up for a bit here, unfortunately. But he does still have a free spell. Still has a balloon in the bag. And he still has the queen ability. Just now uses the RC ability, so she's fairly healthy. She's going to work her way over here and start working on some of these defenses. He's going to use that free spell there. That's going to help him get a little more value out of the RC as she uh, 
does her last few throws here, takes out one last Tesla, then she goes down, but again, he still has that queen ability, and that alone is enough to finish off this base. Let's speed it back up just a little bit, and Brad, of course, is going to pick up another triple for WHF. All right, next up, we got Malin coming in with a good old Queen Charge Hybrid. So anybody who's wondering if Queen Charge Hybrid still works, of course it does. Still a very strong attack. So we're going to see that Queen Charge coming in down here towards that multi-inferno. Got a Yeti in and some balloons with a baby dragon, getting all these trash buildings cleared out, setting that funnel up so the Queen actually heads into the base. Super Wall Breaker comes in. There's actually a gap in the wall right there, right in front of the Archer Tower. Kind of hard to see, but the Super Wall Breaker also opens up the corner wall there so the queen could go in where those expos are at so she's going to head into that little wall opening now rage spell comes down she is going to fight the queen and she's got three expos on her from this little expo farm this base has got going on but with the help of a headhunter and the rage spell she makes it through she lives to keep on fighting forward and she's going to get that multi inferno taken down next super wall breaker came in she does have a ice hound out of the cc to deal with so that is actually going to hold her up for a bit so the uh, Ice Hound has that slowing effect, like the Ice Golem, and then once it pops here, it's going to freeze up the Queen. And then the Pups also have that same freeze effect, or slowing effect, I should say, when they hit the Queen. But the Poison Spell helps get the Pups out of the way, and the Queen continues forward with this uh, March of Death into the base. She's going to be able to go in, reach another Expo, reach Scattershot, reach an Eagle, just a massive Queen Charge here, very nicely done. And then the hybrid, of course, is going to come in at the top side into the town hall. We do have the king coming in with the siege barracks there, getting that pathing set up. Here comes the hybrid, and it's got a very clear path to the town hall at this point. Queen's still marching along down here in the middle of the base. One of the expos did lock on to one of the healers, but once the healer goes down, it switches over to the hybrid, and it will go down shortly. So a heal spell down around the town hall. The hybrid does have a bit of a split here. Looks like the Tesla farm has pulled some things up. And the Warden's actually being held up towards the top of the base, so the, the ability is going to miss a lot of the troops there. Luckily, the troops that were missed were mostly miners, and they don't get hit by the blast of the Town Hall anyway. So everything's going to continue working its way through. It's got a lot of troops powering through this base. The Queen's still going strong, strong just now uses her ability, takes out the enemy Queen, and then the healers are going to heal her back up, and she can continue through the base. So the hybrid's still working through, just now uses that king ability. It's going to help push the king through some of these trash buildings around the outside and get these hybrid troops to that scatter shot. Scatter shot finally takes the queen out. It's going to use that freeze spell there, freeze up the scatter, and then the miners are going to work on taking it out. Still has that uh, RC ability, and it looks like he's down to the last couple of defenses here. So he can pop that RC ability soon if he wants to. Honestly, he doesn't even need it to finish up this base. He could have swagged it. Uh, he's got a ton of troops still alive, and this was a very nice triple from Malin. Next up, we've got Rupert coming in, this time with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash. And we are going to start with a Queen Charge in this attack. So we see a couple of balloons coming in. He's sending a Yeti Bomb to the single Inferno. So yes, the Yeti Bomb is also something that still works just as well as it did before. Uses the Rage Spell there. That's going to help those Yeti Mites get down a couple of extra defenses like the Expo over here and that Scatter Shot. So a good use of the Rage Spell there. And another good thing about the Yeti Bomb is the Super Minion CC. They tend to use up all five of their long shots on the Yetis before the Yetis go down. So when they make their way over to the Queen, they're going to be nice and close and they're easy to poison. So we can poison those super minions there with the Witch and that's an easy CC kill for the Queen. So the Queen's going to take out that cannon and she's going to head up to the right. He does have that top compartment opened up with a super wall breaker. So the Queen's going to work her way into that compartment and start getting a funnel created here for the rest of this army that's going to be coming in. You see another super wall breaker coming in. It's going to open up that compartment as well. And then I believe he can jump right over that uh, the scatter shot compartment there, but he does have another super wall breaker, so he's not going to jump there. It's going to open it up with a wall breaker. It's got the king on the right side with a couple of witches, getting the other side of the funnel set. Pekkas are coming in, bowlers are coming in, a warden behind as well, a headhunter to help deal with that RC, and then everything can start moving into the middle of the base. There's the jump spell right in front of the eagle, and that's going to open up this core of the base for this army to move in. So everything's starting to work its way in now, rage spell in, and everything can start getting into that town hall compartment 
The Warden ability will go off shortly. There's the Rage spell. There's the Warden ability. Town Hall should go down very quickly. There it goes. Enemy Queen's going down now as well. And he doesn't have another jump spell to go through the backside. He's just going to let the P.E.K.K.A.s and the Bowlers kind of work their way through. He does have the Rage spell still activated up there. Not going to help him on the other side though, but the P.E.K.K.A. should still be able to get through the walls fairly quickly. He does have the RC in now. She's working her way around the bottom side. Getting some of these defenses taken down. She will be working her way towards the enemy king. That's going to hold her up just a little bit here. She's getting a bit low on health. The queen's going to work up. Get this expo down. He's got a lot of bowlers alive, which is usually a bit unusual for uh, the back end of any of these smash attacks. Usually the bowlers are the first to go. But he's got bowlers still alive. Freezes up the king there. And the queen's actually going to help take him down. And then the RC will have a bit of health left. She can work on these last couple of defenses. So there she goes working on that wizard tower. She is going to go down to the archer tower, but she gets the wizard tower taken down. And then there's not much left of this base. Another nice triple from Rupert for WHF. So this is going to be the last replay for this video. We do have an interesting army here. No blizzard, but we do have the super wizards in the army camps. We're going to see them mixed up with the witches here. And he's got four golems and eight earthquake spells. So of course we're going to see the double quad quake opening up two spots of the base. And then we're going to have a log roller coming in behind all of that as well. And we'll see where he opens up the base. He does hit the town hall on purpose here to uh, get it down to half health with that quad quake. And then the other quad quake coming up at the top side. So now he's got a clean open path to the town hall. And he's going to use some of these super wizards on the edges to help shape up the funnel here to funnel the witches and the other super wizards in behind the log launcher. And then of course they've got the queen and the king in there as well to help work into the core of this base. So the log launcher is shooting some logs in, gets the single down with the logs, and then of course getting the town hall with the logs as well. So he uses the warden ability there, the logs take down the town hall, and then everything else is starting to work its way through. He's got some stuff on the outside on both sides, and of course he's still got some things working into the core of the base as well. So everything's just kind of working together on each part of the base. He does have the RC on that multi inferno up there and then she will work her way down to the single target inferno as well. He's got some free spells though. He can freeze that up, keep that RC alive. So there's one of those up there. The king in the core is using his ability working through some of these enemy heroes. He does go down. He's got some super wizards still in the core as well. You can see them kind of lighting up some of those buildings in there, getting those chains. He's got that scatter shot still alive. He's got a couple of ice golems. They came out of the log launcher and they're going to freeze up that scatter shot, which is nice. He does have the queen's ability, of course. And then there's two free spells still in the bag. Not a lot of base left. He did lose a lot of troops up to this point. But again, he's still got the queen with her ability. Still got the warden. He's got some witches on the outside with some wizards and the RC still alive. So he's got more than enough to get through the rest of this base. And he's not even going to need that free spell because the last defense just went down. So this was a nice triple here from Natural High. So that's going to be a wrap for this video. Those are some ideas that you guys can use if you're not comfortable using the blizzard. Basically, it's just the uh, old meta attacks that still work fine in this meta. A couple of new things here still work. Uh, some things that actually weren't in our replays for this Clan War League, like uh, the Super Wizard Go Wipe would still work if you wanted to use the Siege Barracks with that. Basically, any spam attack still works. And you can even add in the wizards in your camps and that'll help make it work even better. Uh, the Super Witches still work. Unfortunately, we didn't have any replays of them, but there are plenty of Lalo attacks that still work without the Blizzard blimp. But uh, you guys get the idea. I will, like I said earlier, I will have a video tomorrow with Blizzard attacks. So that'll be something. And then I've got some other replays uh, coming after that. Some videos, I should say, that'll uh, kind of look at some different, different parts of the attacks. But for today, that's going to be it for me. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Clash content from me, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.